Uh, what is going on YouTube? Uh, one of the X from here. Welcome to the channel. Today, you know, I figured I'm gonna take all three bikes out today and kind of give them a little bit of love. I just got off the mountain with the Aprilia 1100 factory. And you know, this idea came to me to ride three bikes and do three topics. So stick around for the video. Got three topics for you. All of which I wish for your input and comments in return. Enjoy. So I had a conversation with some people online, you know how that always goes. And I have a question for you. When you come to a stoplight, do you put your left foot down first? Or your right foot down? Now I know that... Yeah. I know that rule of thumb and the way MSF teaches it, you know, both brakes, slow down, put left foot down, then right foot. But I had a lot of people go, I always do the right foot. What the hell is wrong with doing the right and not left? I didn't say there was anything wrong. I simply asked why you're right and not your left foot. Me personally, I put my left foot down. Like if I'm at a light, someone made a comment. Well, if you're at a light, you want to be ready for anything. Okay, true. If I'm at a light and I'm ready, that means the clutch is in. I'm in gear. I got the brake on. My right foot's covering the rear brake. So if I do have to take off quickly, I, you know, don't wheelie out of it. <laughs> I can uh, keep myself from looping, as it were. So, let me ask you guys that. What do you do to stop? Like, do you even think about it? It's just something you do. Now, the picture in question, this guy's got his right foot down. He's on the passenger side of the vehicle with his right foot down. And someone made the comment as, well, you know, there's oil in the middle of the lane, which would be where his left foot goes. So he put his right foot down. Yes, I agree with that. That is a very, very true statement and a good observation. And I would agree that is why you do that. But what about you guys? What do you guys think? What foot do you put down? Do you want those people that just come to a stoplight, use your front brake only and put both feet down at the same time? I'm not saying either way is wrong. I'm just wondering what you guys like to do. So leave a comment. Hell, if you want to do a response video, do so. You know, this is uh, my opinion after riding 13 plus years and what I do personally. And again, like I said, MSF recommends it. So yeah, tell me, what do y'all think? What do y'all do? enough for this road and that is why I slowed down look at that timing crazy alrighty so here we are on my 2018 B4 Speciale Ducati and for topic number two you know I want to know what you guys listen to that was a very aggressive brake grab <laughs> hopping from one bike to the other God, everything just feels different uh, anyways, what do you guys listen to when you ride? Do you listen to music? Uh, do you just put headphones in? You know what? Do you, do you not listen to anything? You just ride um, and you know, listen to the beautiful sound of the motor. Like, because for the longest time, I never listened to music while I rode. Uh, for a very long time. And I, I still don't do it that often. Uh, I do it more so now that I have this Senna 30K, I just played through that. Um, because I used to wear, you know, headphones, uh, earbuds, if you will. And they'd be great at first, and then, you know, every time we moved, it would cinch a little tighter, cinch a little tighter, and then they'd fucking pop out. And it'd be so obnoxious because you get this weird sound. And you know, I had a lot of bikes, so it actually made the noise worse. <laughs> But since going to 30k, you know, they're just loud enough. I don't like to drown out, you know, the surrounding noises. So it's just enough to kind of be sort of like gray noise, but soothing in a way. Especially when you're riding in a place that's got a lot of turns, like at the mountain. It allows you to kind of be smooth and get a good flow. Or, uh, and then if you go on decently long rides that are boring on a straight road, it's good to kind of keep your mind from wandering off in a weird way but yeah what do you guys listen to the uh or do you listen to anything let me know in the comments down below good <laughs> but stay tuned for the next bike 
which will obviously be the cafe racer and then the next topic which i'm not going to tell you you have to watch ha Alrighty, here we are bike number three it's my wife's ducati scrambler cafe racer and topic number three because it kind of pertains to a bike like this when you think about your bikes the ones you currently have what bike would you want that doesn't necessarily line with the genre that you currently have or kind of is a little bit different that you enjoy that you think you'd enjoy that uh you don't have right now and it's something completely different for me it's between uh the Multistrada, it's so comfortable, it's very versatile, it's very fast, and it kind of opens up a different type of riding uh, as far as the little where you can go, the types of roads and all that stuff. Kind of like that adventure style bike. The other bike that I find very interesting is that MV Augusta Rush. Now that one, while it's not hugely different than, you know, my super bikes, it is definitely different because it is a naked bike. It is a little more upright so that style of bike i think i'm leaning towards is another new one because it's piqued my interest they they ride very well they have a ton of power and honestly that envy augusta rush if you look at it, it's so unique and different looking that it, it's unmistakably beautiful it's gorgeous i oh man i just love it it's so different looking what about you? What do you guys like as a different style of motorcycle than what you currently own that uh, you wouldn't mind dipping a toe into? Are you also like me with your adventure bikes? Or, you know, do you like just dirt bikes? Stuff like that. I personally, uh, I'm not a fan of dirt bikes. I've had nothing but bad experiences with dirt bikes nothing but bad experiences with dirt bikes seriously i've every time i've ever ridden one oh my god this hill is so fucking steep <laughs> in a different clutch that i'm not used to okay here we go i've just <laughs> i think they're more dangerous than these bikes simply because you know you're on the dirt so you have this false sense of security but in reality you get just as messed up if not worse being a hole again on a dirt bike i want uh naked and uh, an adventure again the problem with the adventure bikes for me is where my elbow position is when it's up like uh higher like right now my hands are actually lower than my elbow but on this venture your hands are up a good bit higher which drops your elbow which actually irritates my freaking elbow it sucks because they're so comfortable but tell me leave a comment help do a video response whatever you want but yeah, this, is, uh, this has been kind of a fun video idea for today. Three different bikes, three different topics. I hope you all enjoyed it. You know, like I said, I'm trying to do content a little bit differently now. And I think as far as my analytics show that you all are starting to like it. So uh, I'm going to keep going this route. With that, you all have a good one. I'm out.